Ruben Lenton and Aaron Hadlow, the most extreme kite surfer on the planet and the multiple kite surf world champion. Join them on their trip around the globe, on the best beaches, at the hottest events and the most exciting locations. A video diary chock full of action and incredible stories. The boys are on the loose. Previously on the show, in Morocco, Ruben attempts his first kite session since his ankle surgery. His foot hurts, but it's holding up. We're offered unusual insights into Arabic culture. Ruben witnesses a live slaughter and gets to ride camels. Next, the Dutchman shows his best friend Aaron his homeland. Aaron's welcome reception proves especially memorable. Next stop on Reuben and Aaron's worldwide trip, North Carolina. The boys have just landed in the United States and are on their way to their favorite yearly competition. After only two hours on US soil, nutrition geek Reuben has already had enough of American eating habits. Just making a sandwich in the parking lot because the fresh deli was closed. And they didn't want to make me any healthy stuff, so I was like, all right, I'll do it myself. So we bought all the greens, tomatoes, turkey, cheese. Now we're just uh, cooking out in the That's how we do it. Boom. I have zero use for this fast food culture along the highways. We are now driving down the east coast, all the way down to Cape Hatteras. That's the furthest tip of the Outer Banks. Pretty excited to uh, hit some reels again, you know? Imagine for me, that has been like five months. You've been hitting reels in Australia and in Dominican. Yeah, I've done it a few times recently, but I'm still looking well forward to this one because yeah. the reels are so big and they're so good. So let's see what this year is going to bring. It's going to be good. Cape Hatteras is a peninsula with two entirely different shores. One is a favorite summer holiday hangout for the average American family for fishing, swimming, barbecues, and so on. But less than 500 meters away, it's a totally different story. This shore is home to one of the largest kiting communities in the US. The conditions here really are amazing. Real kiteboarding. No. Nice. Here we are. Look at that. Here they've got some of the best rails in the world for kiteboarding. And each year, an awesome crew gets invited. You're all in. Just rolled in. I have to go kiting right away for a little warm-up session. It's not always fun, you know? Like, sometimes uh, shit doesn't work out, your lines are stretched out or they break or whatever. So it's not always fun, but in the end, it's well worth it, you know? Kiteboarding is epic. I love it. I think all the kiteboarders are really addicted to the sport, you know? Because they, uh, they can't live without it. Every time they see the trees moving when they're working in their office or something, they need to go to the beach and go for a ride, you know? Hey guys, I'm a pro. Obviously, I don't need an hour to set up my stuff. And with this kind of view, prep time is fun. My operated ankle is still giving me some trouble, so I won't be showing any mega moves today. I just want to chill and get a feel for this spot. The competition is not until tomorrow. Well, guess I'll get ready too then. They haven't got the big rails out yet, so I'm just gonna go and warm up a bit. Get wet, I've been in England for like a week doing nothing. <laughs> I'm not quite as casual about all this as Ruben is. The Triple S is the biggest slider event of the year. The best thing is that all the riders judge each other. For sure, I'll try to pull off some of my new presses I've been working on. I would really like to leave an impression at this event.
Yeah, fuck, I went through all the black brown stuff. It was disgusting <laughs> when I dropped my coat. Can you go out? Yeah, oh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, new huts, new chances. <laughs> right now, you're going the wrong way, mate. Where are the bunk beds? Yeah. Where are your bunk beds? Uh, yeah, so we just uh, found a place to sleep for tonight because we only get the riders' house tomorrow. And Sam Light, another English skyboarding friend of us, like hooked us up with some bunk beds. So we uh, had a hot tub. And a hot tub. Yeah, hot tub is hot. Nice one. Hot Cheers for that, mate. This is it's Sam Light. Sam right Light is from the UK. Uh, he's shredding pretty hard. He got a got an invitation to the trip west this year, and he's a bit of a prat. He uh, will have to prat. show his balls this year, mate. Come on, <laughs> take that boy shirt off. Who the fuck is this guy? Who the fuck is he? <laughs> hot tub. <laughs> oh, look a spider. There's a spider here. <laughs> Protein. Ah, <laughs> oh, there he is. Look at him. <laughs> Hello. Come on then. Oh, here comes Bruna. She'll be getting my extra special room service. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. Maybe in another life. Get out. <laughs> Come on, Rube, get out. I had a long day. I know, I know, I know. You had a really long travel. Yeah, out. Me too. Go in your bunk bed. Go in your bunk bed. I take yeah. these just for the night. Yeah? Tomorrow I will claim my own double bed. Yeah, right. But here you go. You Look wish. at this. Look at this. Your beautiful bed. Oh, oh look who's in heaven. So big. It's really so is it nice big enough? Yeah. Is it? It's big enough. Really? Out. Right. Fair enough. Oh, out. Yes. I thought big enough to be in. Yeah, right. In your dreams, get out. Ah, oh, yeah. never gets bigger. Oh, good night, love. Good night. Ciao, ciao. Shower. Mm -hmm. Shower and everything. Oh, we're missing out. I'll see you tomorrow, then I might be able to ride. When I was little, it was really good. I even like played with the men. I had my team. But as I grew up, I didn't play that much anymore. But I'm from Brazil. I can always do something. That's the good thing about Aaron. Just wave him a football and he'll be up and running at 8 a.m. in the morning. So Aaron went for another session and they gave me the key of the house already. So let's check it out. Looks pretty pimp already. Boom! Oh, nice, little soccer table. Boom, pool table. There we go. What's up, Doc? You all right? Yeah. Nice, so there's the party house once again. Let's check it out. Leather chairs, pool. Ooh, we got Petter. What does Petter have? Bunk beds, boom. Oh, we got Ruben. Boom, that's not bad. Pretty good. Let's check what Aaron is doing. Oh, look at this, dude. This is a true party house. No way. Where are the other rooms? Ah, Aaron Atlow, there he is. Injury three. Aaron's room. What did they hook him up with? So I thought the stairs were going What? Look at this shit. No way, hot up in the room. Aaron's got what? Well, but dude, I know something. I'm gonna fucking switch the things. Switch the fucking things, dude. See you later, Azza. You're gonna be moved downstairs. You know, I hope Aaron is having a good session, that, that it was worth it, house. because now Ruben Lantern is gonna get a hot tub in his room. No, I already called that room. It's now. never been that easy. <laughs> Boom, good luck, Azza. Good night. Look who's in. Look at this. This is living right here. <laughs>
Best room I've ever had. Pretty good. Yeah, the Triple S event is the only competition I do in a year, basically. So this is a free ride event. So all the riders just session it the whole week together and you can show your shit when you want. And yeah, when it feels uh, good to ride, then you just ride and uh, it gets judged by the riders. So that's pretty mellow. Coming up on On The Loose. Yeah, so Aaron's wipeout was pretty gnarly. He came in full speed to hit the, the slider. And then he did like a gap 360 where he passes the bar uh, behind his back. So that was a big headache for him. I hope he's all right. Well, he's definitely not all right because he didn't remember anything. <laughs> 